Okay, now on to what is going to be your absolute best friend in your entire life and in your career. Google. Google, everybody. I cannot stress how important it is to be good at Googling. And you don't have to be amazing at it, but there are so many things that people approach me with that you can find on Google in a second. And if you've never seen the let me Google that for you, that's a... That's a lot of my life uh, when it comes to the questions I get asked and what makes a really good pen tester or a really good anything, especially in IT, is the ability to Google. So being able to look this stuff up on your own and being able to find your own resources and find solutions to your problems are going to make you a way better pen tester and just way better at your career with troubleshooting and everything else. So I'm done harping. Uh, I just wanted to stress how important I think Google is. So I'm going to show you today uh, what's called a little bit of Google foo. So I'm already out on the interwebs. I'm out to Google and here we've got Google up, but I want to show you that I just searched for Google search syntax and the first one Google search operators came up. If you go look at this page, this is a really nice list of some things that you can run on Google and will help you out. I'm going to show you just a few things that we can use to search for and how we can start narrowing down some results. So if we go to Google and we just type in something like Tesla, that's going to bring up Tesla here. Okay, we found the main Tesla site, but we're gonna get news articles and we're gonna get all kinds of stuff. Okay, we get the Twitter and maybe we want this. Maybe we do, but maybe we don't. Maybe we don't want all this mess. Maybe we only want items from Tesla. So we could just say something like site tesla.com, which we've discovered here. And notice I'm not putting in the www because that would limit us to that specific domain. So we have the www's in here, but you could see that it's starting to pull in something like shop and other items, right? So we can search for tesla.com and maybe maybe we don't want tesla.com www maybe we take out with the subtract here maybe we just take out www and we're going from 600 and almost 700,000 results to 131,000 results and you can see now we're pulling in ir we're pulling in forms and we're pulling in shop and we're getting all these different unique subdomains so I've showed you sublister and I've showed you other ways to find subdomains, including the harvester, but you can find subdomains like this as well. And let's say you only want to find things like, you know, IR, then we can just come in and we can say IR dot, or maybe you don't want www and you don't want IR. You can take those both out and you start finding more like partners.tesla shop again is coming up. So you can start finding different subdomains this way. Pretty good. A couple other things that we could look for. What about file type? We could say file type like this, and we could search for something like, I don't know, docx. Maybe there's a docx out there. And there's one docx. Okay, it's a survey, probably not useful to us. Uh, maybe we could search for PDFs. With a company as big as Tesla, it's probably gonna be a lot to search through, but there are 3,300 of these, almost 3,400 of these. So they've got different items here that we can look through, you know, maybe Excel, XS, Excel, right? Actually, that's SX. And you can see if there's any Excel and CSV. So what we're doing here, what's the point of me doing this? Well, the point of me doing this is me looking for potentially sensitive files out there or information you would be surprised with a little bit of hunting on a domain. Now, give, granted here that Tesla is a big company, big domain, and it's gonna be hard to find some of this information, but you would be very surprised with a little bit of prodding, a little bit of Google foo and narrowing down the type of results that you can get off of a company. I mean, we can find all kinds of interesting stuff. For an example, just the other day, I found a backup page of an entire website just by doing something like this. Entire website, credentials, source code, everything. And just through a little bit of Google food. So again, Google is your absolute best friend. Before you ask anybody a question, no matter how complex, I challenge you to Google it first, 
make sure you have done your research and then ask somebody. Uh, you know, it's just good to get in that habit. And this is what is going to make or break you, I believe, in your career. So please, please do not ignore the Google machine. It is out there to help you and it will pay your salary uh, over and over again. So that's it for this video. We've got one more video left in this series or the subset. We're going to talk about a little bit about social media and how we can target that. So I will catch you over in the next video.